we make every year when we come to the Toledo show is at the Balsa USA booth. Mark, how you doing today? Very good. Very good. good. You got some new stuff for us this year? We do have some new products. Uh, one of the things, uh, the main thing we have is our new uh, Yonkers D1. Okay. It's a uh, late World War I monoplane. It was uh, all corrugated aluminum, the full size was. And uh, what we did was we have some simulated corrugation for the airplane. Okay. So you can finish it off and make it look real. It's an uh, introductory price of three fifty nine. It's an 88-inch wingspan, quarter scale. It runs a 35cc uh, gasser in it, okay. uh, any flavor that you like. Mm -hmm. Does that one come with an electric conversion as well, or is that up to the modeler to do? That one right now is up to the modeler. Okay. Uh, we don't have a specific one for that. Okay. But you do have a conversion kit available now, correct? We do. Uh, one of the things we came out with was our uh, quarter scale round call conversion. Okay. And it fits all the, uh, the round call airplanes that we have, the uh, Newports and the Pups. Okay. This is it right here, correct? Yeah, this is the, uh, when it all gets put together, you have the place for the battery, some convenient cooling holes we have in there, and uh, also the motor box. And then your motor mounts right on the front, and then this whole thing gets glued right to your existing firewall. Okay. So, this is available now? These are available now. Okay. And what kind of pricing do we have on They're uh, $30. $30. Yep. That seems like a pretty cheap price for something that yeah. would be a nice conversion. Yeah, it's real easy to put together and okay. uh, you can be flying electric within a uh, very short time. Okay. Now, I see some other bags of stuff here. What else have you got? Well, one of the other things we did, we get a lot of uh, people requesting different knickknack stuff, so we decided to put some together. One thing we have is a uh, flush mount servo tray. Okay. This is for use of, uh, you can use it on an aileron servo, you can use it on a fuselage side it for a rudder servo, elevator servo. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a really nice and convenient. All that's left sticking out is your control horn. Everything else is inside. Looks it make a little more scale than if you just put the, the yeah. servo right in the side of the airplane. Now one of the other things is we got a single servo tray. Okay. You can buy these individually and they, uh, mount inside your airplane and your servo mounts inside of that you can glue them anywhere in the airplane you want put it anywhere you need to what what are the pricing on those two items these are uh, 350 each okay and then uh, one of the other things here is a uh, triple servo tray mm -hmm. you can use your uh, elevator rudder and a throttle servo in it and it fits inside of most smaller airplanes okay now it looks like you got some adjustable rails there so it'll fit pretty well anywhere yeah, what you want we did to. is we gave you enough material here so you can put it anywhere you want excellent well one of the last things we have here is a uh, the carbide burr set okay uh, this whole set's $55. It contains seven different pieces from the little sanding drum and various small sizes. Okay. Used on wood or ABS, these things will last just about forever. Okay. Not very good for aluminum, or can you yeah, grind you aluminum with them? you don't want to grind any metal whatsoever. Probably okay. fill them up and... Fills them up and uh, ruins the carbide okay. right away. And now you said this was $55. Yeah. Are, do you sell these individually as well? We are going to start offering them individually so you can buy each individual one or okay. the whole set. All right. Very good. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for you here at the show then. Yeah, that's about it. I hope everybody stops in and sees us. Yeah. And uh, we'll see them out on a flight line this year. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, All Mark. Right. Thanks a lot.